Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz with 0 seconds increment only chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning from the game that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, now let's quickly start off with the game and see how it goes. Which pieces we get. We got the white pieces. I'll play the London system setup, which starts off with d4. Bishop comes on f4, pawn to e3 are the basic ideas. Developing the dark square bishop before closing the diagonal of the bishop. Otherwise, it remains inactive in most openings. Then probably get the knight as well on f3, bishop on d2 d3 there and then play c3 and get the knight on d2 get the queen on c2 as well i in the diagonal probably give away a pawn there somehow going for the exchange that's how london system works lots of ideas but let's see what open does I have to be flexible sometimes but more or less these positions will be acquired by the same pieces. Okay, that was a long wait for before playing that move. Okay, let's get the knight. Pawn to c3 as we discussed. Knight to d2. Oh, he's playing super fast now. <laughs> Queen to c2. Okay. Knight here works, 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 doesn't work. Let's let's go. It works. He takes, I can take back with the pawn. Okay, he's backing our bishop and bring it back. He takes, we take back with the pawn, open up the edge file as well. He should not cast on the king side now for his own good. Um, I can go for the pawn break maybe, or let's castle first. Let's castle. Let's play some aggressive chess. Okay, let's push the pawn forward. If he takes, we take with the bishop. He takes, we take with the knight, and there's a discover attack on the queen happening. So he understands that and pushes his bishop backwards. I can take with the pawn. Let's exchange the bishops. I can take with the queen as well, attacking the rook. He doesn't, he gets his pawn between. I'm pretty okay with that. I'm not looking forward to take it now. Okay, he moves away. I'll take it now. He takes with the pawn. I get my knight centralized okay goes with the pawns which will keep pushing now we'll push this forward let's move the king above so that a there's never a fork happening or a pin with the queen somehow okay he's trying to attack further I can go here. Okay, pushes the pawn forward. And there's a sneaky check that I can give. So let's do that. He has to move the king unless he wants to exchange some stuff. Okay, I can take the pawn now, maybe. Could have gone with the queen over here, maybe. On d7, I'm not sure. If he takes with the bishop, yeah, probably. He had to. He can play the pawn forward first. Now that can lose this pawn as well. Let's play pawn forward. Let's play pawn forward. Okay, he attacks my knight now with a couple of pieces, but I have got two defenders. 
So nothing much to be bothered about. Can I play Rook over here? Just planning to double up maybe. Queen is sitting nice over there on a4. As Rook is trapped there, probably no activity there. Okay, let's double up. It found a piece there, pawn there, damn. I should have been a bit more careful with that. But that's okay, just a pawn loss, but everything else is safe for now. Okay, I have to be careful with this knight now. Oh, sorry, this bishop, because it's eyeing. Um, I can take this pawn away from the game. Yes, I can. Attacking his bishop too, but I can play pawn forward. That would be more helpful. So attacking the knight. How do I defend it? Is there a way? There is a way. I can just go back and defend it. And that loosens up the d5 now. He should play the pawn forward, but he will go with the knight. So then he can take on my knight. I can take this and probably the next one I can take that. Okay, he, he understands. Um, two options here. A is this, which looks more better. So I'll just do this. <laughs> I can get the rook here as well, attacking the pawn. Just try to find weak links in the opponent's pieces there. What are the pieces that can be attacked multiple times? For example, this bishop is now being attacked twice and defended just once. So he either needs to find a resource to defend it, which he doesn't. Uh, I can now definitely take, let's see what he takes with. He takes the rook first or he takes the knight. He takes the knight, uh, ah, he lost a piece there. Because I will now take and I can save my knight as well. I took with a check. Whole thing. Take on the pawn maybe now. Okay, there's no th threats happening, right? He can push the pawn forward after I take. I can also push it forward. No big deal. Well, I can exchange queens. Simplify games. Uh, now definitely. Definitely, let's exchange queens. Piece ahead, why not? Okay, he's trying to hang on that, to that pawn, but for how long? That comes with a fork on three pieces. He saves everything as it was defendable. Let's go with the rook, attacking the pawn, probably place pawn forward. Yes, he does, I take. He takes the pawn. Let's move the king up, trying to safeguard the pawn on g3. Can win still win on time, so I have to be fast. Let's take this pawn. Okay, gives a check. I lost a pawn there, shouldn't have. Some checkmate happening over there, probably not. Let's play solid. Okay, let's safeguard this. No more giveaways. Where does he go? He goes with the pawns. Okay. Let's go here. If I could exchange the rooks, then he cannot win on time. To do that, I have to be closer to him. Okay, let's give a check. Let's get back. Okay, give a check, go down. Let's go here towards the safety. Can give a check. 
followed by un ah tricky have to go back let's try not to goof up something here okay let's go with the knight away from the opponent okay let's go here ah folk and he resigns yo phew that was uh, closing down on time but we were in very good position of winning this we just need to exchange some stuff was not able to find that right move there but eventually uh, he f goes away goes down like anything with that folk okay let's quickly analyze with the game uh signed off with d4 the london system setup always a nice choice um it's a very dynamic opening as you saw you're pretty much flexible as well a bishop comes out on f4 then e3 uh, the other bishop on b3 white is c if you can um, see in the evaluation bar it's already a uh, good positive initiative for the white in first few moves and then we go with pawn to c3 both the knights on uh, knight to d2 plays bishop to d7 there and I go with queen through c2, he plays knight on f6. Here I go with the knight, uh, offering him knight exchange. Okay, what's the best move here? Okay, play a bit passive, not let his knight come over here. So just play h3. I can remember that next time. Okay, he goes for the knight exchange. I take with the pawn instead of the bishop. Computer saying take with the bishop. I wanted to open up files. He goes down, I just bring the back he takes i take back so opening up the edge file and now it's a bit in favor of uh, black here and then he plays uh, bishop to c6 that can be considered bad because you're just stopping your c7 i cast on the queen side he starts marching his pawns uh, towards my king there i went on to break uh, open the center which he understands the threat and doesn't capture goes back with the bishop, I take, he takes back. And I plant my bishop on e4, asking him if he wants to exchange, he doesn't. And now I can just get, oh, I could have played the move pawn to c4 as well. Uh, he cannot, if he takes with the bishop, that's bad because he gets a check first of all, after he moves, I can take this bishop and that comes with a nasty attack on the queen. So queen has to be saved here. And after he saves, he loses the rook. So, oh, that was a good tactic there, which I could have applied. But instead, I went for, uh, I went to b3. He gets his queen on b6. I take on the bishop. He takes back. He gets good center pawns there, if you see. So that's why evaluation is in his favor. I went on with the knight to d4, and he starts pushing his pawn forward. I understand the threat of his pawns probably opening up the c file eventually his rook on c file and that can be a pin on the queen so i just started moving my king away uh, from the attack he tries to get the rook in front of the queen i move my king aside uh, and then he plays pawn to b4 which was weak i would i would say still because i could have given him check that's what i do he moves the king aside i take on the pawn he takes with the bishop and here i can of course Align uh, exchange the often in rook exchange, but threats of queen takes doesn't work, yeah, because he loses the rook there and the game as well. If he takes this, yep, that's completely losing. But I was worried about the knight instead, so I in the game I in on I think b3 here could have to change uh, the idea of not playing. Uh, a3 here was that if he now goes back a my knight is under attack my b2 gets also weakened up plus he has a dark square bishop so why to keep your pawns on dark squares so never do that and that's one of the learnings from the game uh, i played b3 instead he goes back attacking my knight i do the rook lift um he goes down with the queen uh, attacking the pawn there and I just double up the rooks. I could have gone to c1 instead. Uh, I double up. Uh, he takes on the pawn. I go down. 
saving my king. He goes back with the queen, and now I let's take on one pawn there. He pushes the pawn forward. His ideas were simple. If I move this, probably can have some attack on the f2, but the rook was guarding it. So I was pretty much safe over there. I went back to f3. He pushes the pawn forward. Now I find the right move finally, attacking his bishop twice. He has to go back and defend. He doesn't. He just goes for the attacking uh, my knight, and I he lost a piece there because after I take, he has to take, and when I take, it comes with a check. So he has to move his king. That was completely losing, as you see in the evaluation bar as well. I took on the pawn, and then he moves his king up, trying to make sure that he's not he's uh, able to use his pieces better. But that leads to queen exchange, forced queen exchange. He has to take, otherwise I take, and that's what I do. And then it's just about carrying through with your plans, making sure that your opponent doesn't win it from there at least. When, he, when you're a piece up, just trying to capture some pawns, even he does that same. Trying to hang in over there. And we played some boring moves, I would say, but yeah, it was crucial to make sure that these are played rightly on time because opponent was uh, also trying to make a draw over there by repeating but i just went down on g1 attacked my knight there i go back giving him a check and there it was tricky i was about to move my knight pre-move my knight so i luckily didn't and played rook to d1 goes back i go that side now over here and he falls for the folk uh, he could have avoided it for a bit long but uh Clock pressure on both the, both the players, so he had to move, and there he resigns after he sees the folk. So I hope you like the video. Do let me know feedback. A couple of things to be uh, noticed were: first of all, uh, make sure that you are not keeping your pawns on the uh, on the on the squares, which uh, the opponent has a bishop of the same color. Uh, second, uh, stay aware of folks at the end game as well when you have an when you or your opponent has a knight. So just be aware of the folks that can happen and that can be nasty. So I hope you liked it. Do like the video in the YouTube as well. That gives me some motivation to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.